Today we're drawing the life of one of the YouTubers that changed the YouTube game forever. No, it's not Mr. Beast. I'm talking about Dream with 26 million subscribers, 20 million views per video, and a Minecraft world with stories that can easily be a Netflix show. Dream changed the game. I mean like the literal game, not metaphorically. He literally modified it and played it in a different way. In today's episode, I'm covering the whole story of Dream. Let's start with his name. Well, his name's Clay. He was born on August 12, 1999, which makes him 22 years old. Dream's personal life is highly guarded, including his face. However, for his 23.3 million subscribers, he's been talking about some information lately. Dream's mentioned about his mom, dad, and three siblings. He has an elder sister, a younger sister, and a younger brother. Hello? Hello. <laughs> who, who is this? This is Dream's mom. Does your dad think I'm funny? He's probably never heard of you. Does your, do you have any other siblings? I do. I have a younger brother and another older sister. Their names aren't known. Dream's younger sister has made her presence in Dream's streams. She's known in the online community as Drista. Drista's 14 years old. She's joined for gaming with Tommy in it and Dream's SMP server several times. His sister joined the call! What's your sister's name? Is it Drista? Well, hello! Hi. Who's your favorite YouTuber? Dream. Drista's very good in Minecraft, just like Dream. From what he said, Dream's mom also likes gaming. She even watches Dream's gaming streams. Dream's dad and other siblings are not so much into video games. As a kid, Dream hated school. He had issues in focusing and coping up with school schedules. He had ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. That made it difficult for him to pay attention to anything happening in the class. Dream had said that he would always be doodling or doing something else in his classes. Dream's even gone through phases of depression and anxiety in his school days. Eventually, he was put into medication for ADHD. That was tough for him as a kid. With the medication, Dream felt less creative and lethargic. He wasn't able to draw or do things he usually did in his classes. This was supposed to help him focus. However, this made him angrier and depressed because all those other things he was doing were what made him happy. He wanted to be able to do those. Video gaming was always his happy place. Being in front of the camera and not showing his face, he could be this new person who wins inside the game. In a way, he was wearing a mask even then, hiding all of his uncomfortable emotions and feelings and playing a new character in the gaming world. Dream has penned down many of these struggles in his music video, as you all might know. Apart from these issues, Dream used to be very physically active. He used to play all kinds of sports, especially flag football. In fact, he used to play flag football until he was 16, even after starting his YouTube channel. Dream was a very social kid at school, and he said he was hyperactive and was in all kinds of clubs. Dream had so many friends and contacts at school. He had five best friends who all live in the neighborhood. So he had some really good times, also in his childhood. However, Dream had to change his school for his high school. He actually did online schooling in his high school. Dream was into computers and technology a lot. In his middle school itself, Dream was certified in Microsoft Word, Office and stuff. So for high school, he wanted to do more courses in computers. However, his school didn't have that option, so he had to do it in a different school, which was far away. Since Dream didn't want to travel so much, he opted for online schooling. At first, his parents didn't allow him to do schooling online. However, Dream was very adamant and after a lot of convincing, his parents finally agreed. Even though Dream lost his social interactions, he enjoyed his online schooling because he could play Minecraft a lot. He would cheat in classes and go play Minecraft. Dream told that he passed many exams cheating, although he's not so proud about those today. This is also where Dream learned a lot about computers, hardware, software, coding, and a lot more. He's told that those learnings really did help him later in his gaming career. This is the time where he started playing a lot more Minecraft and slowly gravitating towards starting his own YouTube channel. Also, Dream ended up finishing his classes faster and graduating earlier. Dream stopped his education after his schooling. He never attended college. Dream was 14 years old when he started his YouTube channel. 
he used to play Minecraft a lot, so he uploaded Minecraft videos into his channel. From that young age itself, Dream had this goal of making it big in YouTube. He had seen other young gamer YouTubers who were doing well in YouTube. However, he didn't know how to do this. For many years, Dream tried and failed in making his channel work. Finally, in 2019, he decided to dig deep and find the algorithm tricks. Dream's first break happened when he made a series of videos about finding the seed in PewDiePie's stream. Dream SMP server was another major milestone which actually took Dream into the mainstream Minecraft gaming community. A lot of big names started collaborating with Dream, like George, Sapnap, Badboy Halo, and Skeppy, which all gained more audience exposure for him. Dream is told that the pandemic situation actually helped his channel, went into this massive growth pattern. His Minecraft Manhunt videos became so popular and gained him millions of subscribers. Dream says that it's not only about the actual gameplay, but also about how he edits and adds music to make the video more dramatic. These videos have a story, which is put together by Dream from his thoughts. This attracted a lot of audience who are not particularly into Minecraft, but would enjoy a good entertaining gaming video. So is Dream really happy in his life? Being a masked YouTuber who's extremely popular has its own drawbacks as well. Dream is told that he's living his dream in terms of his career. However, in his personal life, many of those who are personally linked with him do not know what he does. He tells people that he does advertising for a living. His family and very close friends know that he's the dream. There is a constant fear of being exposed. Dream has also shared that he has trust issues because of his specific faceless situation. He can never open up to anyone his real emotions because they might record him or expose him. As these things are always on his mind, it's challenging to move ahead as normal in his personal life. Dream also told that being faceless is one important fact which makes his brand unique and interesting. This has a positive effect more than the negatives. However, he also mentioned that he cannot do things like TikTok or interacting with his audience and stuff like that, which would have been fun. Dream's biggest quality is that he knows what makes his career work. He knows that people love him for his ideas and his executions of his videos. Dream was not liked because he has a peppy and entertaining character. Even though his personality is cool, his fans are here for his game quality. Dream has always been reluctant for his face reveal. He intends not to do it for his lifetime. It's only his face which is hidden. Dream's fans are familiar with his body type. He's lean, tall, Caucasian male. He's come for interviews with his face covered. Dream has blonde hair. George Not Found has said that Dream has green eyes. Maybe that's true. Of late, Dream has been turning the tables through his Minecraft speedruns. He finished many runs of unbeatable accuracy and time limits. We all know that Dream had admitted that he had been accidentally using banned moderators in his system. This was a first major meltdown that Dream faced in his whole gaming career. He had to face a lot of hate, which too shall pass. Dream was living with his parents up until recently. Currently, he's living with Sapnap. Sapnap and Dream have a very long, deep friendship. They met in a Minecraft server when Dream was 13 years old and Sapnap was 11. From then on, they've been good friends and Sapnap is one of the couple of people who actually knows Dream in real life. Most of the famous gamers who play with Dream on a regular basis have not met Dream in real life. It was Sapnap who came up with the name Dream for his YouTube channel. At first, the channel's name was Dream Traps, and later it was simply changed to Dream. Dream's then-girlfriend came up with the white blob in a green background image as his profile picture. That stays too. So there, guys, that was the Draw My Life video. If you want more awesome Draw My Life videos like this, hit that subscribe button with notifications on, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Till then, peace out.